saw it over there, but driving past, they're uh, building a Carvana vending machine. Uh, sort of right here by where I drive every day. Come on. Traffic. People don't know how to drive. They're building a Carvana vending machine uh, over here in, in North Texas. Uh, we, I guess we have one already, and this is the second one. I haven't driven down to the first one, but uh, they're building one close by. I love the idea of Carvana. I love the idea of the vending machine. Uh, it's a really cool concept. And if, if you're into Leafs and you've been looking for Leaf, uh, the Carvana is an awesome place to look. I do have some serious issues with Carvana in general. Uh, I tried to buy several cars off of Carvana and part of it's my fault, part of it's theirs, but here's my major gripe. Uh, their, their banking sucks. Uh, the finance rates that I was getting through Carvana were terrible. I, oh gosh, I think back on it now and there was a leaf I wanted on Carvana. Almost bought it like four times. Um, and they do tend to go really fast on Carvana. People pick them up because uh, it's a good deal. And usually they're priced really well. Usually you can get it delivered pretty quick. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a good experience overall. But finance rates are crazy. Um, I got like 10% lower by not buying at Carvana, which is just nuts. Um, I've heard a lot of people complain about their finance. A lot of people complain about their banking. Um, obviously, I could have had a better pre-qualified loan. Um, I didn't go in with a pre-qualified loan. I both times I uh, both cars I looked at and the one car that I tried to buy, you know, more than one time, um, I had to go back and forth with my bank about it, and just not a great experience in that scenario. But ah oh, man, that rate was so bad. It's really upsetting to, uh, you know, get that far along in their process and then, you know, come up with a rate that was as bad as it was. To be that far out, you know, especially then to just go to a dealer and, uh, you know, get essentially 10 points lower for the same car, essentially, uh, it's, it's crazy. But, I mean, I guess that goes to show what volume does and having an established finance system. Um, I do, I really like Carvana. I would love to uh, buy a car through them just for the experience. Um, I've looked at a couple Teslas on Carvana, and I've looked at a few trucks on Carvana. I keep going back to it. Um, their shopping experience is really nice. Being able to get in the car and see all around it, and sort of the curated photos, it's just a really good experience. But I'm excited to see the uh, vending machine when it's done here. And if you guys haven't seen those, check out the videos of their vending machine. It's pretty neat. But yeah, I didn't get to buy a car through them, so therefore you shouldn't either. That's not true at all. Uh, if you if you want to buy a car through Carvana, you totally can. Back on the tollway on a Monday morning. Uh, also back in the Honda. Needed some extra space this morning and uh, had the car full of stuff. Make a couple trips. Get rid of stuff at the post office. So needed the uh, needed the big trunk space. This Honda actually fits quite a bit in the trunk, so I use it to uh, transport stuff. I need to get a truck. We're at the point where I got to get a truck for uh, scribe delivery stuff, which is frustrating, but I guess it's fine. Uh, I had a great weekend. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I got some things that have come up from conversations this weekend and um, some topics that I want to want to chat about going forward. So we'll get to those soon, but. I had a great weekend. It was nice to catch up with friends. It was nice to spend a weekend basically uh, hanging out and, and, and catching up and, and, and drinking beer and eating good food and just, uh, just really having a great time. And it, it, it was just nice. I don't get a lot of weekends like that. And I think sometimes as parents, we get stuck in the rut of, uh, you know, doing everything that we can for the kid and not doing anything for ourselves. So it was nice to have a weekend to uh, spend with friends and just kind of just kind of take it easy uh, and play a lot of Zelda on Nintendo switch so obviously but that's it that's uh, really that's really the, the whole weekend was that so no uh, nothing else to report so let's get into it after spending a few days in this Honda I, I really do like this car it's pretty bare bones it's not that exciting but the gas mileage is great see the other video about that and it drives really well it's comfortable uh, it's got a ton of room. I, I just 
really like it. I don't know. I like having the Leaf. I like the electric car. It's great. But, you know, it's got to have something different. But it's a pretty good car. When we went and bought it, we weren't expecting to buy an Accord. Um, we thought we would get a CRV. The Accord ended up being a better option for us just because of the way we drive. Uh, you know, we'd have more space in the rear of the CRV vertically. But I think overall the Accord has at least the same amount of space, maybe more. Most of the things that we transport fit in here, although like I said earlier, I, I do have that need now for a truck for the business. So it is super funny to me that uh, the general reaction to the Leaf is that people aren't going to like it and it's going to be hard to drive and they think that, you know, it's something different than it is. I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but it is funny now having my wife having had the Leaf for a couple days that she really enjoys the car and for her needs it really, really works well. This is really cool light right now. I wonder if you, this is coming through in the video, but the uh, it's a really, really soft light coming through the window. It's really cool. Anyway, I do miss the Leaf and I, I'm ready to get back to it. Look forward to my electric adventures continuing tomorrow, but doing well, uh, doing well in the Honda for a couple days is, it's a nice change and, uh, it, it's hard to remember how to, how to drive and use the normal brake and not have to worry about the electricity. So, ah, well, first world problems. videos about the Accord. I think the Accord's kind of a plain car that isn't that awful exciting, but I don't know. You never know. Not a lot to report other than that. Uh, packing weekend for Scribe Delivery. Got those uh, shipping out now and uh, it is getting harder and harder as, as if uh, the growth is more evident. I do like controlling our own packing and shipping and storage and everything like that, but man, the, the thought of somebody else doing it for me starting to sound pretty good. I don't know how I'm going to handle that, but I'm going to keep uh, fighting it off as long as I can. But yeah, the business is well. Everything's doing really well. Just overall, just a good, good couple weeks.